Hi, I'm low carb dietitian Francisca Spritzler, and one of the questions I often get asked is, isn't a low carb diet really expensive? And yes, some low carb staples like meat and seafood can be very costly, but you can also do low carb on a budget. So today I'm going to share eight ways that you can eat low carb without spending a lot of money. Number one, embrace eggs. Eggs are an excellent low carb food. They're versatile, filling, and packed with protein and other essential nutrients. Some studies have found that people end up eating much less for the rest of the day after having a breakfast with eggs compared to a breakfast without eggs. Eggs are also generally very affordable. Now, at the beginning of 2023, the price of eggs skyrocketed due to an outbreak of avian flu in the US, but as of May of this year, eggs are back down to their usual low cost, fortunately. Enjoy eggs any way you like, hard boiled, sunny side up, scrambled, or in a tasty omelet or frittata. Number two, choose cheaper cuts of meat. You may not be surprised to hear a dietitian telling you that it's better to eat poultry than red meat, but the only reason I'm telling you this is because chicken and turkey tend to be a lot less expensive than beef, bison, and lamb. Pork, the other white meat, is also more affordable than most red meat. Red meat is tasty and healthy, but can also be pretty costly. So here is my advice for choosing budget-friendly meat. Purchase all types of chicken, turkey, and pork. Buy frozen meat or burger patties in bulk. Consider including low-cost, nutrient-rich organ meats like liver in your diet. Number three, pick produce that's conventionally raised, sometimes. Although buying organic vegetables and berries is always fine, it isn't always necessary. And you can save money by choosing conventionally grown produce over organic. But some types of produce contain higher pesticide residues than others. Every year, the Environmental Working Group puts out a list of the 12 fruits and vegetables with the highest pesticide residues. It's called the Dirty Dozen. If possible, try to purchase organic varieties of the low-carb vegetables and berries on the 2023 Dirty Dozen list. Green beans, spinach, kale, collard and mustard greens, blueberries, and strawberries. But keep in mind that eating conventionally grown greens, blueberries, and strawberries is still much healthier than eating foods with a lot of refined carbs and sugar. And feel free to choose non-organic varieties of other berries and vegetables like asparagus, avocado, blackberries, cucumbers, raspberries, tomatoes, and too many others to list here. Number four, select seafood that's canned or frozen. I love fresh seafood. It is so delicious, but it can also be pretty pricey, especially these days. Fortunately, canned fish is much less expensive than fresh. Take salmon, for instance. A five ounce can only costs about $2 to $2.50. And if you purchase a larger can, you'll save more money per serving. Plus, nearly all types of canned salmon are wild caught instead of farmed. The same goes for sardines and other fatty fish and they contain just as many nutrients, including omega-3 fatty acids, as fresh. I like to eat a can of sardines or salmon with some chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, and olive oil in the morning. Yes, for breakfast. And you'll not only save money, but also a lot of time and work by purchasing canned crab meat instead of fresh. Now, if you want to serve a filet of salmon or trout or another fish for dinner, um, opening up a can isn't going to work. But you can still save money by purchasing a bag of frozen fish fillets and only thawing as many as you need each time. Number five, use frozen berries. Berries are great for adding some natural sweetness to a low carb diet without adding a lot of carbs. But unless you buy them in season, they're usually pretty expensive. Sometimes grocery stores do offer a buy one, get one free sale on berries. Unfortunately, berries tend to get mushy or even moldy after a few days, so unless somebody else in your household is also eating them, you may end up having to throw some of them out. If you want to eat berries out of season without spending a lot of money, head to the frozen aisle. 
Frozen berries tend to be much more affordable than fresh and can be used in small amounts as needed. Now, it's true that the texture of frozen berries doesn't match that of fresh, and in some cases only fresh berries will do. But choosing frozen over fresh whenever possible saves you money and also reduces the risk that delicate berries will go bad in the fridge. Number six, go for less expensive nuts. Nuts are delicious, whether you eat them as a snack or chop them up and sprinkle them on a salad or into Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. They're packed with vitamins and minerals and they provide the crunch that you might otherwise miss on a low carb diet. But some types are pretty costly and this can add up if you eat nuts regularly. Now, in a previous video, I said that my favorite nuts were hazelnuts and pecans and they are but they're also among the most expensive. They cost a little less than macadamia nuts, but they're far from cheap. So to save money, I like to alternate pecans and hazelnuts with other more affordable nuts. What is the most affordable nut? Peanuts. Yes, peanuts are technically legumes, not nuts, but they're often grouped with nuts because they're so similar nutritionally. Another cost-conscious option is walnuts. Because walnuts contain high amounts of omega-3 and omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids, they're more likely than other nuts to go rancid. So store them in the fridge in order to keep them fresh. Brazil nuts are also a good buy. But limit your intake of Brazil nuts to about two or three per day because they're very high in selenium. Selenium is an essential mineral that your body needs, but it can also build up in your body if you consume too much of it. Number seven, minimize processed keto and low carb products. Sometimes grabbing a low carb bar or shake can be a convenient option, but in addition to being highly processed and causing cravings in some people, they can also be pretty expensive unless you buy them in bulk. I do recommend sticking with nutritious, minimally processed foods, what some people call real food. Now, do I ever eat processed, low-carb foods? Yes, although I don't do it very often. For instance, when I fly, I often take a low-carb, high-protein Quest bar on the plane with me and eat that in place of a meal. So including some processed keto and low-carb products occasionally may be okay, depending on how they affect you why not spend most of your hard-earned food dollars on nutritious, minimally processed foods that'll pay off in better health down the road. Number eight, plan ahead. So now that you know which foods can save you money, I recommend that you plan your meals ahead, make a list and stick to it. This helps keep you organized and can prevent you from buying things you don't need. Before going grocery shopping, always look in your fridge and pantry to see what you already have on hand so you can use those ingredients to save money and avoid wasting any food. Buying things that you don't truly want at the store just because they're on sale can end up costing you more overall. In a 2022 poll, 61% of respondents said that they made an impulse food or beverage purchase at the grocery store within the past month. While sales and specials may seem to be a good value, you'll end up saving more if you simply purchase what you'd plan to. Of course, if you see a nice cut of meat on sale that you hadn't planned to buy, you can either substitute it for something that was on your list or freeze it for later. So those are my eight tips for eating low carb without spending a lot of money. What are your favorite ways to cut costs while eating low carb? Please let me know in the comments and also please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.